What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have my Evo over here and then we have STI over here and we're gonna go over kind of like the differences and what's better in my own opinion. All right, so this is the 2008 Evo GSR and yeah, it's 100% stock and then this over here is the 2019 STI. Wow. One's brand new and one's a slightly older. So that just changes like the technology and stuff by a lot. I've owned this one for about seven months. So I know a little bit about it. And then this one I've owned for uh, about a month. Obviously looking at the cars, they're very similar. Both are all wheel drive and both are super similar looking in general. Both are turboed. As you guys can tell, I changed these. These are not stock because I like the look of these. So stock STI, the newer ones did amazing with the front end and the front lip i mean it's just beautiful looking it's like this looks good stock this has a few mods done to it and it's the sti still looks better Ooh, that's a hard hit to the evo boys out here yeah and then you're killing me one thing i really like about the sti is the wing the big the wing on the back is a lot taller which i actually really like if you look at both the rear ends of the cars the license plate over here on the STI is up high and the one here on the Evo is placed down low. The, the Evo rear end is where it's at. It's just wider in general too. She's thick. She's real thick. Yeah, she's thick. And then this one, I mean, it looks great, but license plate needs to be moved down. And I really, really like the STI quad tips. Obviously, you could change that on the Evo, but this comes stock which is pretty cool okay I'm gonna take you guys on the inside we'll start off with the Evo I haven't really even like talked about the Evo at all. one thing about the Evo when I first got this car that I really really liked was the fact that the whole interior is completely black um, I think that just looks really classy it has the Recaro racing seats which are honestly in my opinion way comfier than the ones in the STI yeah these ones come up a little bit further so they hug you it feels more like a uh, racing car. I like the fact that on these seats they have the levers instead of the automatic seats. I think I find it way easier to like scoot forward and back. So you like these seats better? I like these seats for the comfort but I like that those seats have heating. They're heated seats and there's like leather and this material on it. Which, it. which I'll show you guys when we when we get in that one. Everything else is pretty simple. It's nothing too fancy. Um, but yeah, I love it. I never minded this car until I stepped into the STI. So this was perfect for me until I went into the STI. I wonder what an 08 STI is like on the inside. Yeah. You can't, it's hard to compare to 18 or a 2019 versus 08, you know? Yeah, that's what I, that's what I'm saying. It, there's no comparison really because the STI is so much newer, but um, yeah, I love this car. So let's go look at the interior on the STI. Sitting in the STI, Obviously, it looks 100% different. I also love that the whole interior is black. It has details of red, which is also a pretty pretty cool color. So do you like all black better or black and red? I like the black and red, but I, I like that this is all black, the dash, this um, lining right here is all black. Even the roof is black, and on the Evo, this is all tan, so. Tan or gray? It's tan. Oh, is it gray? It's not tan, yeah, it's gray. It's gray. Yeah, it is gray on the Evo. These Recaros are super comfy, but they, um, they're they just not as comfy as the Evo ones. These, are, I feel like these are more luxury. Yeah. These are luxury seats, and the Recaros and the Evo are more racing seats. That's in my a good opinion. way to put it. And these are also heated, which is pretty cool. I've never had a car that... I hate heated seats. They hurt my butt. <laughs> and my favorite detail about this car, you guys, is this black is all over the car. So even over there, show them. It's a little dusty, but... The black detail the radio is amazing this is stock and i would never probably never want to replace it and another favorite part about this car is the steering wheel is the suede material flat bottom steering wheel which is really cool you, you dig i really dig it yeah everything in this car is just luxury but it's also an sti so it's kind of a race car too well, not right now. She's pretty slow. Yeah, we'll make her. We'll make her faster. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys the trunk. Trunk is. Let me move my bath bombs out of the way. Trunk is massive on this car. 
which is pretty neat. Show you guys the trunk on the Evo. This is actually a pretty cool feature in the Evo is you get a sub, um, battery is back here, and the windshield wiper fluid is back here, which is kind of different, but I don't know, kind of unique. I can respect it. I can respect it. So I'm going to show you guys the sound differences. This one has a cat back on it, and this one has a muffler delete. So I'll start with the Evo first. The Evo sounds way better, boys. Wow, she not built. This one just sounds like a giant exhaust leak. <laughs> I've always liked the sound of the Evo more. Honestly, a built Evo sounds amazing. It's very lopy sounding. I feel like the Evo is so much more easy to make sound good yeah. yeah it just sounds the evo in my opinion is a mean like it, it's just, just a mean, a mean car. machine it's just a mean machine sti on the other hand can be mean but it takes a lot more it takes a lot more this is more like a mom car not a mom car grandma what? car not a grandma car so we're gonna go on a little drive and oh this car's already started but guys to start it it's a it's a little button over here which is a push push button it's pretty cool but it honestly is like in my opinion, almost kind of grandma. No, it's pretty lit. Oh, it is? I can dig it. Okay. It is pretty cool, but I just feel kind of grandma-ish. My Genesis had that. All right, clutch on this is... Stock. Very stock. Okay. Guys, we're gonna go rip her a little bit and I will kind of explain. You gotta put it in sport sharp. Okay. Yeah, this car has three modes. Sport, sport sharp, and then intelligent. Intelligent is the slow, sharp's the fast, and then the sport's just like chilling. Medium. Yeah, it's, me it's medium. It's meh. just like butter if you had to pick one to daily drive to just to have your own hands down i would pick the sti the comfort level through the roof it's literally through the roof i and maybe it's the year i don't know if the year makes such a difference with Probably. all the new technology but Probably. Uh, it's safe to say yeah yeah it's it's really it's really amazing Are you gonna rip her stock boost gauge right there that's pretty sick oh another thing about this car is this is a six speed yep. and at the evo is a five speed and that, does that train feel better this transmission feels like butter and everything you can bang gears honestly everything's just buttery what do you think about this the brakes and the suspension yeah brakes amazing they're both really good going in though from the sti to the evo it's like oh, you can tell the difference and the brakes yeah it's got six bots off front what Wow, it's definitely not soft. Okay, yeah. Let's go rip in the Evo real quick. I figured this out today that this has the hill assist. Mm -hmm. So you don't roll down hills, like it, it catches you, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Not that we live anywhere that you need it. Oh, this is so much different. In a good way or bad way? I know your favorite thing of the STI. What? Dual climate control. Yeah. In the STI, it's a dual climate control, so Devin and I are always in the car and he turns down the heat and I want the heat like skyrocketing hot. And in that car, you can, one side could be cold, one side could be hot or whatever you want. That's probably one of my favorite. This car is a little behind on the time, so you can't do that, but it's still, it's still fine. She's still built. Okay. This one's got nice pistons in her. What clutch do you like better? I like this clutch better. Comp stage two, so it's not a stock one, and I prefer it. I find it. This car, when you get in it, just feels like race car. I don't know if it's because we have a lot of Evos, and they're fast. They built. I've never really like driven a built STI before. This is way faster than the STI. It feels faster, but they're identical. It has more torque. This one put a bigger smile on your face when you ripped. I know it did. 
it's because it's my baby. So I would do a U-turn right here and turn around, but the Evo does not have very good turning radius. It's my biggest pet peeve. Yeah, honestly, like going into parking lots, say you find a parking spot right away, you can't even turn really quick because it, does, it doesn't turn worth anything. Stupid. Terrible drift car. But the STI, now that thing turns. feels like a race car. I don't know how many times I can say that. So if you had to pick one, overall, what would you pick? See, I wish they made a, a 2000, I wish they made a new Evo just so I could It'd be more even, but as of right now, I choose the STI. Alrighty then, that solves it. Case closed. So you guys, I hope this helped you in deciding what car you like better, or if you want to buy an STI or an Evo. I hope that helped you out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask because I have one thing to add. Yeah. For all the for all the people that want to go fast out there, please buy an Evo. Yeah. No, I, I, I second that. I think if you want to go fast for a little bit cheaper, a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper than get an Evo. There's so much fun. STI, we just got this, haven't done anything to it. So I, I'm excited to, to test her out. You're excited to dump 10K into it and make 450 wheel. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.